Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Today I am doing another East to West Tandera. It is a new line, so it's something that I'm trying to get out there, push some videos, and show people what this is about. Uh, but there are great campers. The price is awesome. You know, you're thinking about in the 40s, something like that. This one happens to be nice and light. It's under 35 feet, so you can get into all of your state parks. Definitely think you're going to like it. This is the East to West Tandera 286 R L O K. It does have uh, an outdoor kitchen. Nice, uh, nice bedroom right up here beyond these windows, and you got your island kitchen. Really nice living room. But let's jump right into it. And before I show you the inside here, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and make sure to drop a comment too if there's any videos that you want to see here in the future. It's uh, definitely into the buying season, buying time of year. So if there's something you want to see and I can help you out and be your guy, let me know. But give you a little quick peek here on what we're going to get into. Make sure this is a video that you want to stick around for. I'll show you a quick little tour here. So you have your living room there. You got your bathroom right here. Your bedroom right there. And there is a closet, which I'll give you a little bit of a better show here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and start this little tour ski in the RL section, the rear living. And I just love it. This brand it has impressed me very much. My first time in one, you know, it was not that long ago. It was the 386 MBOK, which definitely make sure to check out that video if you dig this brand and want something a little larger. But right here, you have a really nice size refrigerator. You got your pull-out freezer, a pull-out refrigerator section, and they got these nice little snap-on locks, you know, for your traveling. But just to give you a sense of uh, love the high sense refrigerator, Good size, good enough for a trip for, you know, a week or so. I mean, you could fit in all the groceries that you need. There's one pull-out little area. And that one's got the travel lock on there. I won't get into that. But this beautiful island kitchen here. I just love island kitchens. There's your light switch for right here. So, and I love the way that this looks. A nice residential feel to it. Solid surface countertops, plenty of storage. This is in prep mode, so we're getting ready to get it on out of here. Uh, so there might be a thing or two here or there that you'll see. But a nice residential feel uh, to this little doodad, your faucet. Two different styles. You are good to go. I love these drying racks that most RVs are doing. Your single bowl stainless steel sink. That is always nice to have. Extra room to do the dishes and ample storage underneath. So this is definitely a plus in my book. I'm a big fan of these island kitchens though. You got your dinette over here, enough room for four people to sit down, have some dinner, play some cards, enjoy the scenery in this really large window, which is definitely a plus if you're somewhere with some nice scenery. You know, right out here, we got this nice little R pod. And then you'll also notice here too, if you wanna block out the sun, you do have your nightshades there. Nice storage up above here, which I'll show you in a second. But this couch, not only is it comfortable and has, uh, you know, your outlets on either side, USB on either side, but this will also pull out to make a queen size bed. It'll go to just about right here uh, for some additional sleeping. So although this is probably more of a traditional couples coach, you do have room for some grandkids, a neighbor, you know, whoever that you want to you wanna sleep. And while you're watching on your 50 inch TV, you got your nice Allure Furniture recliners. And I'll tell you what, these are extremely comfortable. I love these recliners. And you got your little pull tabs right here to kick up the legs and lay down. These are the quick reclines, so you can pretty much take a nap and lay flat. While you're watching this bad boy 50-inch TV, it's got a really nice speaker system there. You got your sound bars on either side, uh, so you can get this thing bumping if you want to. And right there, you got your Furion system, so that way you can play, you know, tunes inside and outside, uh, or one or the other. Storage up above here, which is really nice. They found an extra way to put some uh, some storage. This is on top of your outdoor kitchen, is right behind all of this. And you have your 48-inch electric fireplace. And if you're not familiar with these, these things have a degree setting that goes up to 100 degrees, so they get roasty and toasty in here. And they covered, got a couple different light settings too. So if you don't like this, you got your blue, 
got your traditional like fire look and then you got that which is my personal favorite now storage up above this couch here let's show you some of this let me get some opened up goes all the way across the back here plenty of space for you uh, to put all your little your randoms maybe the stuff that you don't want to get out every day I've seen a lot of people put plastic totes up there which i think is pretty neat and again out the back you do have this nice uh, big windows on either side so that way you can you know check it out what's you got going on you are camping to go somewhere beautiful i hope and on the back side of this island kitchen you got some outlets there and that leads us to right over here you have probably the largest looking microwave i've ever seen in my life it is high point it is pretty big good to go you can cook like eight bags of popcorn in there no problem flick on this extra little light here storage up top storage to the left and again solid surface countertops you got your three stove top burner there uh, which is which is really nice outlet if you want to put up a blender or a coffee maker decent size oven it's not your little itty bitty one it's not your massive one that is a get the job doneer and that it will do good storage there and more storage here so pretty nice it's definitely impressive i'm digging the brand so far they're selling like crazy so if you're interested in one hop on it you know asap most brands right now in the industry are out three to four months the r pods are out all the way to december already but this one uh being that they're a little bit newer they're only out two to three months so you can get something that's every bit as high quality as some of these other you know mid-level brands upper mid-level brands but you can get it a heck of a lot faster and truth be told guys i kind of like this brand more nice big pantry here you got some places where you can set up some addition ah jeez oh pete's i'm blanking on the word adjustable shelving so you can take these out, you can move it from here to here. As you can see, there are little hangers for coats. If you wanna use this as more of like a coat rack and closet type deal. And these one are solid, they're fixed. They're in there, they're staying. Um, but nice pantry space and a lot of campers, as we all know, you can never go wrong with more space. So one more little look a rooney here. And let's head on to the rest of the coach. And thank you guys very much again for watching. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, or drop a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Decent sized bathroom. Uh, nothing to, um, you know, write home about. But it, this is definitely will get the job done. That shower uh, would be good enough for me. I'm six foot, 300 pounds, so I'm a larger dude. But I could get in there no problem. You have your nice, fantastic fan there. The porcelain throne. And you have your sink. Now where you can brush your teeth, wash your hands. Whatever other hobbies you got. Place to put all your toothbrushes. You got some outlets over here. So that's always nice. And then you got storage. And that leads us to the bedroom. So on either side here, you're going to see you've got a place for storage. Or not storage. CPAP machine. You know, nightlight, lamp. Whatever you guys want to put on there. There are outlets and usbs on either side so whether it's a cpap machine or an iphone you want to plug in you're good to go i'll open up that storage here in a second but i just want to open up this show you underneath the bed you have a lot of storage underneath here you don't have to worry about holding it up um, but this is more storage under the bed than most brands will give you there are a lot of the brands are going towards these like little smaller little cubby styles which i'm not a big fan of but that right there is useful So that goes all the way across. Plenty of storage, as you can see there. Go ahead and get that closed on up. Sliding door right here. So that's nice. I like that. This one's got an AC that is dedicated to right here if you want to do the dump fan. Or it is into the ductwork for the rest of the camper. Two ACs is plenty good uh, for a camper this size. Let me sit on the bed while I open up this closet here. You do have a light up there to turn on. I forgot to do that. But... uh. Nice hanging closet with plenty of drawers. There's three of these bad boys. Now, right here, 
You got your wire washer and dryer hookups. So you can put in a combo unit and I believe, do not quote me on this one, but I think you can actually remove all this and put a stackable washer and dryer. We'll definitely have to check up on that. Maybe I'll drop some more information in the comments or the description on whether or not that part is true, but I believe that is what I heard. But I never want to get caught lying. That's why I'm saying I just believe it. Night shades right there, but. Nice little shadow cruiser out there. Leaving soon. But that about wraps up the inside. I'll take a couple moments around the outside, show you the outdoor kitchen, point out a couple things. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Hope to see you around for next time. We definitely got some more campers coming. More fifth wheels, more travel trailers, more of everything. This is the season where those views start ramping up. So I'm going to start pumping them out a little bit. Nice pass-through storage here. You got some outlets over there too. Your left along with some cable uh, hookups. Two outdoor speakers. So you are good to go for some tunage. LED lights under the first awning. Because there is two in this, which I love. I don't have either of them fully kicked out. But it gives you an idea, you know, of the camper. Dual axle. Awesome outdoor kitchen. Loving this. So it's got your automatic sensing light right here. You got your graystone. Well, I got my thing in my hand, but that is a griddle. So it pulls out to about right here. Flip up some eggs and bacon, whatever you're doing. Storage behind that. And you got your Ever Trill, Ever Chill refrigerator. Put yourself a couple 24 packs of some brewskis or some apple juices, and you're good to go. The other neat thing about this outdoor kitchen here is if you guys are watching the game or something like that, you click this little button and a little TV pops out. So, how cool is that? You got the campground, you want to watch a movie at night? Bada bing, bada boom, you are good to go. I just like how it does that. The only thing you sacrifice when the TV is down is access to the storage behind. But that is a fair trade-off, especially when you saw how quick and easy it came out. And also underneath here, there's an LP Quick Connect. So if you want to bring on a propane grill, that would be where you connect it um, and you're good to go. You know, if you don't want to use that griddle. Fully walkable roof. You have yourself a ladder. Uh, right here, you're going to see this little black thing. That is, this is backup camera prepped. If you would like to add one on it's 550 dollars i would recommend the furion s vision that's what my dealership is using rather often um, so that way while you're driving down the road you can see what's going on behind you or you can angle it down if you're backing up you know in a parking lot or a campground you can actually see what's going on this camper also has a receiver on the back i believe it holds 300 pounds we'll have to confirm that but i know it's definitely over 200 now, there are two slides on this unit. There's one on the uh, the other side there that you saw where that awning attaches, and then there's this one. This one is eligible for a slide topper. So that would run you $700 installed if you would like to add on something like that. Definitely nice to keep debris off it without having to think about it. A little bit of an easier experience. Now, on the other side of this pass-through storage, you got all of your connections. Your black tank flush, your city water, all that good stuff battery disconnect outside shower good to go propane goes in there and right here is your leveling system i won't get into that i'm not messing with it but it's auto mode manual mode landing gear mode so you are good to go this customer also opted which you know i haven't seen on this brand quite yet i know i'm not that experienced but um you know they got it prepped up for a uh, generator which is pretty sweet but again, it's the 2021 East to West Tandera 286RLOK. That's rear living outside kitchen. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Catch you next time.